Anna, first of all, congratulations on 50 appearances and you're almost at 50 starts as well for Watford. First of all, how does it feel to have reached that landmark? Uh, yeah, great. You know, I think um, everybody wants to be making that many senior appearances and for a club like Watford uh, to make those that many, um, yeah, super happy about it. What do you remember about your debut for Watford and can you remember the score and how the game went? I'm awful with all of these things, so you might have to remind me because I have no clue. All I remember is uh, uh, my first, very first game for Watford when I trialled, I broke my wrist and that is about as far as I can remember. Oh, so not a particularly successful <laughs> no. one. But the, the season as a whole was successful and obviously, despite Covid sort of curtailing the, the season, Watford was promoted through the upward movement that season. What memories do you have of that season? Um, so I actually joined the season before, so I had two COVID years, um, as, as we call them. So um, yeah, I joined in 2019 and then the, had half season then, and then the other, the season after that as well, we got curtailed. But you know, our performances over both of those seasons meant that we got promoted. Um, we would have loved to do it on the pitch. Um, it's a shame we didn't get that, but you know, being able to go up to the championship was a great moment and, and all the girls worked so hard for it at the time and you know we really deserved it. It's a shame that the following year the championship didn't quite reflect that but you know it, it was a great moment in the career of Watford so far. It's a very unique feeling I imagine getting promoted off the pitch but do you remember where you were when it got confirmed that you were going to go up to the championship? Uh, yeah, so we had like a teams meeting with like the entire team, um, you know, all the senior management kind of coming on and being like, oh yeah, it's um, confirmed we're going up. Um, yeah, well done kind of thing. Um, and that was it, that was it. <laughs> it was just like we were waiting, waiting, waiting. And then I guess, yeah, a bit, a bit anticlimactic because you couldn't do it with everyone together, but still like a great feeling to know that we were going to be playing that higher league. And like you said, the, the season didn't go completely how we would want it, but you scored a fantastic goal that season against Liverpool. Uh, could you talk us through that goal and, and what you sort of remember of it and how you can remember sort of your thought process as you went to hit it? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm never going to score anything like that ever again, I'd say. <laughs> I think to get a, for a defender to get goal of the season as well is, uh, I would say, rare. But yeah, I just intercepted the ball and then, uh, I don't know, Liverpool kind of stepped off me, I just took the space, kept taking the space and then I just thought, all right, I'm just at the box, may as well give a swing with my left foot and it luckily it went in, you know. As I said, I don't think I'll ever score anything like that again, especially with my weaker foot, but, um, and especially at the Vic as well. So it was all in all like a really great moment uh, for me personally. I wish I could have celebrated it, but we were 3-1 down at that point, so we had to go get the ball out of the back of the net and go again. <laughs> and obviously your success hasn't just been at Watford in this period, you've also been representing England at beach soccer internationally. Is there much crossover between the two sort of sports and what do you sort of pick up from each side that helps you? Um, there's a little bit, yeah, like obviously um, beach soccer, I'd say it's a bit more like five-side futsal, um, um, but yeah. I think beach soccer really helps me technically, like there's a lot more uh, juggling, keeping the ball off the sand, um, keeping it in the air, um, there's a bit more flair and like tricks like that, uh, that I don't really get to do as a defender. You're not going to see me bicycle kick uh, uh, playing for Watford, but um, so I kind of take that back into my game in the 11 side um, and yeah, the fitness as well on the sand throughout the summer keeps me fit as well. Um, so yeah, there's a lot I can take from beach soccer, but there's also a lot I can take from just being an out-and-out -out defender and, and, and using those skills as well. Obviously, it's been a very successful season so far. What have you made of it at the moment? Yeah, it's been super good for us. I think, you know, so far in the league, um, we've done really well, picking up wins along the way. A few games where it could have gone better for us, but it's still a long season ahead. So, um, yeah, as I said, there's no, you know, we it's no secret we're going to go for promotion, we, that's where we want to be um, and we want to go as far in the Cups as we can, we want to win those silverware where possible um, and so far we're on track for all of those. So yeah, let's see what the, the second half of the season brings. Seems like there's a really positive mood within the camp and you've got players who you've played alongside for a couple of years and also a mixture of new talent as well that's come in. What do you make of that sort of mix of, of players at the club at the moment? Yeah, I think it's good. Look, it's always good to have a good core group of players who know how, you know, each other likes to play um, and have those relationships are, um, already built. I think having the new players come in has definitely increased competition for places this year, which is needed, um, and also brought in, you know, some added quality. Um, and hopefully, we can, you know, it's you can see it in games we've played the way we combine and play that we can play good football and produce, you know, lovely team goals and results. 
and this weekend back at home after about two months away and it's in cup competition against MK Dons. How much are you looking forward to the game at Grosvenor Vale? Oh yeah, I'm super excited to be back at home. I think um, it's always a great place to play. We've, we've, we've done really well there um, since making it our home this year. Um, cup games are always a feisty one, I think. You know, MK Dons have got some really good results in the league, so it's always it's going to be a hard tick game. It's going to be a tough game, um, and everyone's going to want to win. So yeah, really excited for it. Fantastic, and once again, congratulations on 50 appearances for Watford. Thank you. <laughs>